Welcome back trainers and I'm going to be uploading a nice late night battle video here. Well, actually it depends on where you live, but what we're going to be doing is using my top combat power Pokemon. So we have the Mewtwo, which is going to be equipped best buddy. Unfortunately, not 100. I do have one, but I'm not powering it up again. <laughs> this one is 15, 15, 14, essentially the same as 100, quite literally. I mean, you're fine. All right. So we're going to also be going with our Groudon. Now, there are going to be other combat power Pokemon that are going to be higher. We're going to be going with mine. Now, for instance, Kyogre, if I had that powered up all the way with the XL candies needed, then it would be around the same, well, the same CP as Groudon. And of course, there is Slacking, which is a completely useless Pokemon. Okay, you can land play rough once in a while, but for the most part, it's an absolute junk Pokemon. If they gave it counter, you're going to be looking at a whole different beast. Could you imagine uh, Slacking with counter? Holy crap, you'd have some new meta going on there. That'd be actually pretty cool. Maybe one day we could see that. Doesn't even learn that? Pretty sure. Anyways, uh, so people were asking, how are you able to look at your moves on your Pokemon with a charge DM? Fellas, ladies, gentlemen, anybody. <laughs> this is an elite TM, okay? You can't just do that with a regular DM. So yeah, it has a ton of mu moves, Mewtwo. Just a, you know, plethora of them. So you never know what you're gonna get. When somebody throws a charge move at you. Alright, so let's get into it. Folks, if you do enjoy these videos, give it a thumbs up. It's a nice chill night. I'm gonna just gonna relax and probably watch some uh, some comedy. Who knows? Anyways, let's see what we have going on here up against the Metagross with our Groudon. They're gonna be letting that go right away. And they're bringing in Hydreigon. Now, we're already ahead, so there's no need to bait here. Let's just keep going with the Earthquake. I mean, we're fine. I mean, things could get a little hairy, I suppose, but we still have two shields. Oh, what am I talking about? We got a Mewtwo in the back, which doesn't want to see it with the moves that we do have. So you do get shut down with your Mewtwo double legacy with Psy Strike and Shadow Ball. Unfortunately, it is going to be a great combination. But if you do encounter a Dark type, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So we do lock ourselves in here. And they have, of course, some Machamp in the back up against our Dialga here, which is not going to KO with this Cross Chop. And we're going to be able to take them out with this Iron Head. We're going to be doing a lot of damage with our Dragon Breath. We should be able to finish it off. Yeah, we're going to be finishing this off. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but that's just showing you the power of Dialga and how OP it is with the steel typing that it does have. Not taking super effective from Dragon Breath or Dragon in general, as we're able to farm down nearly half health to our quarter health there. Next battle, we're met with a Giratina, and this is actually a decent position for the Groudon to be. Uh, of course, Mewtwo doesn't really want to go up against that with the super effective damage we're taking, but we do have Shadow Ball here. Gonna go ahead and let them hit us with their Shadow Ball and go for the Earthquake. Our Dialga can go ahead and just, you know, Dragon Breath it down. Just blow a little bit on it, like, whew, take it out. You already know how it goes. Dialga is just so OP. And of course, that one is gonna be a 15, 15, 14, too. I was, I'm not able to get 100 one of those. I just couldn't, some things I just can't. It's crazy. Uh, Zacian, and I have horrible odds with that. So we could have made it to Earthquake there, but I got a little bit impatient, unfortunately. So we, uh, we're not able to take them out. They're going to be swapping, and somehow we get into the yellow first. Is it because we're a 14? <laughs> I don't know about all that. All right, so we're going to go straight for the Draco. They let it go. Still holding on to two shields. Sounds good to me. And what are you going to be bringing into battle? An Excadrill. So since we still still do have two shields, but Side Strike is still going to be doing a ton of damage to that squishy Excadrill. Now, you know what's funny? Uh, of course, we don't have it right now, but uh, Psychic, right? That's the typing. Then they also have the move, Psychic. When I was younger, I was like, why isn't there... A... Like, I got it. I get it. I'm just trying to be silly here. But it'd be funny if they had a move, Fire, Water, Grass. You know, for every single type, it was just that, just that name. And it did... It was just a solid move. Let's just say it would just be, a, you know, decent damage, right? That'd be pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, what's going on here? We're Psy Striking everything to death here. We're just Machine Gun Psy Striking... That's just the way Mewtwo works. It wins CMP up against everything, right? That's just the way it goes. Mewtwo just wins CMP. So we're going for another side strike here, right in the nick of time. And I knew it was, wasn't going to be enough, but we did CMP there. And we're going to be able to take them down pretty low. And we'll be able to just simply drag and breath them down with our Dialga. And take the win. <laughs> I used to just despise Dialga. Because it was just... Ah, it's just so annoying sometimes. But yeah, if you can't beat them, join them. Here we are. All right, so if it gets Mewtwo, we always let the first one go. If they do hit us with a, some Ice Beam, yeah, that's going to be a big surprise. Big, big, big surprise. But essentially, it's the same thing because they're not going to... Oh, they might be able to Psycho Cut down. I don't remember how much damage it does. But nonetheless, usually, they're going to have to throw again. And we will be able to outpace them. But anyway, make it into another Earthquake here. Are we going to see a double shield on their end? We do. I love it when you do that. 
Let's go. So at this point, we didn't throw the fire punch and I'm gonna show you an example I think down the line. We've talked about it before. So what happens if I do throw fire punch? Well, we're just gonna be doing more damage, right? Right, it'll take less time to farm them down with Diaga. But it's also going to kind of have them in the back of their mind thinking I better just throw now before they get to the earthquake as opposed to them farming all the way down once I do throw the weaker charge move. And therefore they're knowing I'm not gonna to get to the bigger move and they're fine to just finish this off with a quick move, right? Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna go straight for the Draco, doing a lot of damage with our Diaga, making that swap as soon as they do bring in their last Pokemon, which is gonna be Garchomp, but we're just gonna go for the Psy Strike here. Their Dialga doesn't have enough energy to even get to Iron Head. Even, yeah, even with our Psycho Cut farming down, it's just not gonna happen. So they go hit us with the Earth Power. We're gonna go straight for that Psy Strike right about now. Take out that Garchomp, get out of here. Good game, good game, and farming them down with Psycho Cut. So these are the top combat Pokemon that I have. I mean, <laughs> yeah, pretty OP, but we're in the Master League, so let's get it on. Next battle, we're met with a Giratina again. Okay, sounds good to me. Again, when this thing comes back, you're definitely gonna wanna raid it. It has been Poke AK approved, and it doesn't matter if it doesn't get its signature move. It's just something you want. It's been gone forever, right? We've gotten the altered form, which is still good, but I feel like the origin is just looks better and it just performs better too, personally, that's just the way I feel. Okay, so, Earthquake, because you can use it both in PvP and in raids. The altered form, uh, you can, I guess, if you got like a level 50 or something, but it's just not there for the damage. Anyways, we got a Melmetal out here, and since they've already used a shield, I'm thinking, okay, let's just go straight for the Draco here, and then we'll swap into Mewtwo, and they immediately swap, they got their own Mewtwo here. So since we're up on the shields, we're gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball, there's no need to bait in the situation here. And this is the reason why I love Shadow Ball. Do you see that? Basically one-shotting their Mewtwo, let's go. We're gonna shield this up, it is a side Strike, I just simply cannot risk it. It's just going to be much better because they're not going to be able to take us out with all these rock sites. And if worst comes to worst, we'll be able to finish them off with Dragon Breath on our Dialga, which essentially is uh, full health here. They can't even take us out with the superpower right now, so we're fine. So getting that last shield, and we're looking fine. Do believe we do shield this one up too, just because... Oh, we're letting it go. Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, now we shield this one up. There you go. I thought I did. Knew I could take another one of those. Getting to the side Strike and finishing them off here. So this team is amazing, folks. I mean, what can be pretty bad for me is a Yveltal. That is kind of annoying. The only thing that can technically really handle it with, I wouldn't say ease, but relatively okay is going to be Dialga. All right, so we're met with a, speak of them, <laughs> Dialga. There it is. So you definitely love this matchup with your Groudon here. And whenever we do get Groudon back again, go for it. I can't wait until they bring out Precipice Blades. That's going to be its signature ground type move. So you're looking at probably... Uh, I wouldn't say as strong as Earthquake, but something that's going to be ridiculously strong. You know, something on par with a like Meteor Mask, Community Day move, right? And it's just going to be absolutely bananas. So when they do release their Primal Forms, oh baby, it's on. Oh boy, that's going to bring a lot of people back. I do believe when we do get uh, Origin, Groudon, and Kyogre, that's going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to feel different than the Megas that we currently do have. I don't know if they're going to keep it the same. I would assume they would because it's not like too much of a different situation. Primal Four, like, you know, they got the Friendship Greninja. Like, that's, it's, a, it's still a Mega. Okay, let's, let's not get all weird with it. Technically, it's still a Mega. So let's just not knock it off. <laughs> Anyways, up against Azatiate here, which also can, you know, be a little bit of trouble to the team here. But Groudon can handle it, so can Mewtwo. It's not like super damning to the team. So getting off that side strike, no more shields on their end here. All right, so what do we want to do? I think we let this go. We bring in our Dialga. We farm down with Dragon Breath. Yes, that's exactly what we do. Beautiful. There goes our counter, or their counter to it. And we simply shield this up, Dragon Breath down. We take the win, All right? That's just the way it's going to go here. Dialga is amazing. Absolutely. Now, when it gets its signature move, was it Roar of Time? That's going to be interesting. All right, anyways, next bat, there it is, Sievelto. So technically Groudon can still have a little fun with this thing here and not completely get bullied with it because Fire Punch is gonna be able to get spammed big time here, right? So we'll just be able to kind of wither it down and then Dialga can go in here and just finish it off with the Dragon Breath. So long as we take it out and Mewtwo doesn't have to go up against it because we just can get completely walled, it's over. So they hit me with a Focus Blast doing as much damage as they can there. And we're gonna go ahead and go for another Fire Punch, see what we have going on. All right, so they're swapping into their Mammoth Swine, trying to snipe me here. Probably should have just been better, just let me sort of let it go down because 
I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just locked in here. Basically, that's what I'm trying to get at. All right, so Mammo Swine. Yeah, it's a pretty good Pokemon. That thing can spam like crazy, and it's good up against the meta. It can take out those Flyers. It can take out those Steel types. It's just a little bit squishy, right? So hitting me with another Avalanche. We're shielding that one up, and I already knew they were going to get to another one. At this point, it's basically going to have to be a farm down with our Mewtwo because, I mean, Groudon is out for the count. It has no health. It's essentially useless. Catching with anything is going to be having to be right on the dot. I don't even know if I could. I mean, <laughs> with the brokenness of this game and how Dragon Breath works and all that stuff and the quick moves. All right, so there, oh no, we had a decent amount. All right, never mind. Okay, okay. And uh, throwing it in, unfortunately, not landing that Fire Punch on the Avalto that we needed to do. And they have a Metagross back here. So Mewtwo, do you think it's going to pull it off? Oh, do you think Mewtwo's going to be able to pull this win? We got to the Shadow Wall. It's going to take out this Metagross here. This Yavelto is so low, we can get them out of here with a Psystrike. Strike. Let's go. Don't think they got two back to back. We already got to the side strike. No, we did it. We needed one more good game. Damn. Oh, shoot. Yeah, all right. That's why I left that one in. That was a good one. Good game. All right, moving on to our next opponent here. Met with a Togekiss and, uh, okay, we, you know, this is okay. Yeah, our quick move's not really doing much, but we're going to be able to spam these fire punches. Now, something that you want to make sure that, that you do is to not let the charm sneak through. So there they, you go. There was one that just snuck through there. If they keep on sneaking these through, we're going to be getting off a lot of fire punches. They add up, you know, three or four charms, and uh, there's a significant amount of extra damage. All right, so they're going for the uh, Ancient Power. They actually get the boost, and I was playing with Athena. I was, like, kind of looking at her. I was like, oh, a little cute girl, and uh, threw fire punch. Like, ah, that's all right. We both screwed up. You retreated with... Uh, with a boost and I threw a fire punch on your Kyogre. So we swap into our Dialga, which is gonna love to see this matchup here. And since they're throwing so early, that's not gonna give any sort of shadow of a doubt. So we don't need to uh, shield up. We already know they're gonna go straight for the Surf. So we're farming down low health, but it doesn't matter. This is all we needed to do is win that matchup there, get rid of them. And we're gonna be going for the Iron Head. Do believe they bring in their Giratina? Yes, it is, okay. All right, so we're just going to keep on going. Now, we get off the Iron Head. Now we're going to go for the Draco. Let's see if they shield it up. They do, unfortunately. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Mewtwo here. We still have two shields. This is getting a little bit tricky here. I already knew they were going to go for Ominous Wind, but I just couldn't risk it. All right, just waiting for the swap there. That's why we're not throwing Shadow Ball. And now we're going to build up a little bit of extra energy. Go for the Psy Strike, and this is why Shadow Ball Mewtwo is so good. If you have Ice Beam, I guess that's going to work well as, you know, for you too. But, uh, yeah. I used two Elite TMs because I wanted to showcase it back in the day. All right, keeping it going here, winning that matchup, looking good. We're met with a Garchomp, leading with the Groudon, of course. So it does have Dragon Tail, so Diago would not mind seeing this. Mewtwo as well. I mean, Mewtwo can really handle it because anything that doesn't really resist Psy Strike, you, you just, you're going to be doing pretty well up against it with your Mewtwo, right? Uh, so we're going to let this first one go. Unfortunately, I was still a little bit out of it, kind of playing with Athena. I was like, wait a minute. Crap, I was supposed to shield that. Damn it. All right. All right, yeah, I found... <laughs> what? I, le I left this in here? Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. That was just, that was supposed to be in the video. All right, so yeah. A little screw up on my end there. Next battle. <laughs> we'll keep it going, I guess. Whatever. I don't care. All right, so I met with a Groudon or a Giratina. And uh, yeah, it's simple, simple matchups. No big deal. We will be able to get to two Earthquakes here. As I've been getting more comfortable with this matchup, I've done it plenty of times, but I'm, I'm starting to see the patterns more. I know I should have noticed that sooner, but uh, they can't get to a Shadow Ball. And I'm always thinking Ominous Wind's going to be enough, but it's really not. You can survive barely. So they let it go. Okay, so we're doing our nice damage here. Now we are up a shield. We're going to let this go. There is no need to shield it up. So bringing in the Dialga, farming them down, or at least they're going to be swapping into their own Dialga, which is fine too. And we do have to look out because Mewtwo in the back is still not going to want to see that... Uh, Giratina with even that amount of health just in case it gets to the uh, ominous wind. So we're taking them out with a Draco Meteor. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, let's go. We still have two shields, right? Hitting the Togekiss. Togekiss. <laughs> Togekiss. <laughs> Man, it's one of those days. I got to relax. I got to grab something to eat and then just take it easy. You know, I miss the days where I can go out and rent a movie in the movie store. <laughs> I know people are like, well, what? It's just so convenient now. You don't even need to go out, waste gas, waste your time, just sit at home. It's the experience. If you grew up in the 90s, it's, it's a completely different thing. Anyways, we're going down by that charm, bringing in our Dialga to take out a toga, toga tisk. All right, and take that win. Next battle, we're met with a Zacian. Let's get it on. So simply Earthquake, straight up. I'm not waiting for them to throw. I don't care. They, they could go with the close combat. Just charge it up to two of them. I'm still going to throw my Earthquake first. 
because it's going to do so much followed up by a fire punch it's simple as that but they're going to be shielding it up okie dokie so i think we do want to shield this up now okay cool going for the close combat they straight up just sacrificed their metagross here uh so down it goes i mean hey been there done that right we did it with the shadow just straight up let it take us out in one shot sometimes that's what it needs to do and going for another earthquake up against that satiate here i thought they would shield this up so they can keep it alive they actually survive with one hp i mean that that was nuts like they're probably like oh crap so i bring in the dialga to farm them down and they have an excadrill back there so we still have a whole mewtwo and that's pretty much yeah we got this yeah that's that's fine all we need to do is get this shield here and even if they let it go i mean it's still doing a ton we're getting the shield okay so we swap into our mewtwo and simply go for the shadow ball and that's pretty much a wrap they're not going to be able to get to two drill runs and that's about it so mewtwo folks you know this thing is incredible i want to go with my shadow definitely want to power that up uh don't feel like i need to power up another regular mewtwo for now i know it's one of the best it is one of the best in the game right but i definitely want to go with my shadow because this one is going to be for my mega as much as i want to power up my 100 for the mega in the future i might we'll see i'm pretty sure once they bring mega mewtwo out you're going to go out there you're going to raid it it's just like catching a mewtwo we'll get more xl candies i'll be doing a bunch so maybe i'll just get a whole nother xl set to power a whole nother one up i mean damn we're <laughs> They've made so much money off of Mewtwo. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, so we are farming down. We're taking out their Garchomp, but they at the cost of using both shields. So they're bringing in Zacian here. This is <laughs> it's getting a little tricky, eh? All right, so they let that go. Okay, no bad, not bad, okay. So now we can pretty much take them out with a Fire Punch with our Groudon. All right, so we let that go. Well, <laughs> yeah, we let it go because we have no more damn shields. So they're bringing in their Dialga. Oh, it's this one here. So they pretty much have to call it whether or not I'm gonna bait. They let it go, we take them out, they back out, we take that win. Sometimes it's just better to go for the big move. Don't even worry about the bait sometimes. All right, do believe this may be our last battle here. Met with a Landorus Shiny. Man, I love that thing. This is such a good Pokemon to use. Okay, so let's see what they have going on here. So a lot of people sometimes will just keep going despite capping out at 100. They're just waiting for you to throw. I'm not playing that. All right, so I'm just gonna throw it, no problem. Expecting a superpower here lowering their defense great now we're going to be doing even more another superpower is simply not going to be enough it's going to be uh, you're going to need two more at this point i all right let's see can they farm us down after this nope well mm, kind of maybe but we're going to be able to spam they're going to have to keep on shielding yeah and so they're going to retreat and we're going to go ahead and bring in our dialga after they do bring in their giratina and you already know what this is simple farm down here letting the shadow wall go the Mewtwo doesn't want to see this, so I'm going to go ahead and put my hope in the Mewtwo in the back. Hopefully not a Yveltal, because if it is, pretty, it's, it's over. It doesn't matter if I have... Uh, well, maybe if I had like like four shields, you might be able to do it. Maybe. Anyway, so we got a Dialga. So yeah, we're good to go here. No problem at all. I do believe this is the one where I just keep on throwing Psy Strike. So they bring this in here. We let this first superpower go. I'm like, I called it. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And I knew this is another superpower, and I know I can win the Dialga, but I'm going to have to shield this up just to preserve our health, because, it, you know, another inch off my health, the Dragon Breath is going to be able to take us out. So we're just going to go Machine Gun Psy Strike. Let's get it. This is the power of Mewtwo here. Literally one of the strongest in the game. It's a good way to finish off the video, folks. So if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Really do appreciate it when you hit that like button. Shout out to my patrons, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey! 
So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! Touch the deck. This is the best.